Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my laser hair removal experience. I did show a few clips on my Snapchat when I was getting it done and I had a ton of questions about it, what I thought of it, how like the pain especially for some reason. But yeah, today I'm going to talk about all those things, where I've been getting it and if I would recommend it or not. So a few months back, Premier Laser Clinic did contact me to see if I wanted to try laser hair removal. And so far I've had two sessions and I've got my lower legs done, so just above the knee. I have never tried laser hair removal ever before, but I always wanted to. I knew that one day I would eventually try it out. So I did go for a patch test first, which is always required to see if you don't react to it and see if you're okay with the treatment. And literally they just do a little section of your leg or wherever you need to do it and see if you react well to it. With the patch test, it was literally so quick and they did a small section and I will talk about the pain afterwards, but it's literally, they just do a few, a little section and that's it. So you do wait, I think I waited around a week or so to, to go in for my first treatment, which is my official first uh, treatment. Treatment. I didn't react to anything, it went all well, and the ladies at Premier Laser Clinic in East Algate, they were so lovely. There are a few bits that you need to know before you go in for laser, so the first thing is you have to make sure that you shave only, so you can't wax anymore, so I don't wax my legs anymore which is fine for me. I used to shave most of the time, but yeah, you literally can't wax. So if you're gonna do your face or anything like that, you can't wax your face. You also have to be careful to make sure that you don't tan. If you have tan and become darker, you can't get the treatment because I think that makes the treatment less effective. And you also have to make sure that you use SPF. So you can't tan and you have to protect your skin from the sun, especially after getting the treatment. Well, you need to always use SPF, but I think you're more, you're more prone to sun damage after the laser treatment. They were kind enough to let me try out uh, the SPF that is only available at their branches. So they do have one in Liverpool Street in London and I went to the East Algate one. Um, this is a sunscreen moisturizer, antioxidant and soothing kind of SPF. Um, it is SPF 50 and I have used it on my face and it's actually really nice. If you guys wanted to check it them out, this is something I would definitely pick up because it's really good. Um, a little goes a long way. The only downside to it is that it kind of gives that white cast, especially on my skin tone. Um, like, if I wear it, once I wear it on its own and literally my legs look grey and I have to go on top with a moisturiser. So what I do is I put my SPF and then put a bit of moisturiser kind of to take away that white cast. So that's the only downside to it, but I think that doesn't, that's not important. You need to protect your skin, so I think this is really good. In terms of pain, I didn't really feel pain, especially the first time, especially with the patch test and the first session. Literally just like, the way I would describe the pain would be like, it just, it's like, like that. So Hi guys, so I'm now getting a patch test. I'm here with Ruby. She's doing my patch test for me. And I'm happy. That feels okay. It, like you said, it feels like an elastic band. Yeah. And some areas I feel it more. Yeah. So when the hair reduces, the pain will reduce as well. So bearable like there's literally no pain to just a bit that's it the only thing is the second session I think I set shaved a day before so I guess the hair grew a little bit and I felt the laser a bit more so I did I did say that it, I kind of felt it and she did um, suggest to put the um, to lower it down and I was like no it's fine because it is still bearable but it's just that I felt it a bit more so I think the more if you have hair like let's say you have a little bit of hair growth then you will feel the laser a bit more yeah apart from that literally the pain is not that bad I have heard though on the face it does hurt a bit so I would I don't I think it's bearable but and I have a super high pain to tolerance I think I think with pain I'm fine so if you are more pro like 
sensitive to pain then I think you would be a bit fussy about it but I think on the face you can feel it a bit more also if you check out their website which I'll link link in the info box um, it does say that um, they don't use IPL and apparently IPL is not really good quality laser and it's much cheaper but it's not as effective so they don't use that they use like some good quality type of laser I don't know what it's called but it's really good quality and to be honest with my experience I can I'll let you know why I know this um, but it also says which is nice is that they have female staff so if you're doing intimate areas you you know there's going to be female like I personally I feel more comfortable with with the female which is weird but you know when it comes to intimate areas I don't want a guy doing it you know I also did read that their treatment that their, their laser is really good for darker skin tones so that it does really penetrate through the skin and it works really well so that's a huge plus side especially for me being like a bit more on the tan side literally just with the first patch test that I got done in that area like there is still growth on my legs like yeah, there is still growth on my legs, but it's so reduced that I'm not even bothered about it anymore. I am super hairy and when I, especially with my legs, like after a week it would just be horrible and I would have to shave. And to be honest, I'm, sometimes I would get so lazy to shave every single day that, you know, it gets really stubby after a couple of days. But just with my first patch test, literally there's no growth for days. Like, until I went to, for my uh, first session, my first official session, like, I hadn't really shaved. I did shave just before going, but there wasn't really much to shave anyways. Then after my first session, I started to see, like, it was getting patchy. Now, laser hair removal is not, like, you're not going to see results straight after, but you, as you go on with sessions, you kind of see more um, hair reduction in growth that makes sense basically you'll see that it gets patchy and patchier and there's less growth and then until where there's nothing but you still have little hairs every now and there but you do see a huge difference in just the amount of hair that grows after my first session literally I didn't even have to shave that much even till today I've had my second session and I'm actually due for my third one very soon in like a week or so um, like literally I find myself where I don't need even need to shave every day and let's say I shave one day it will take like two or three days for it to at least get stubby and then it stays stubby for like weeks which is so weird I haven't had one long hair on my leg since which is so weird like I do have hair growth but it's just so much less and I, in some areas there's like like little patches there's none and even up like it was so funny after my first session there was a little section where it was kind of getting really long and I left it grow I let my hair my legs grow for a month till my like next session my second session and it was like a little tiny patch of hair that was really long and it was just like everywhere else there was nothing apart from this little patch and it was kind of funny because it looked weird but um seriously i'm not even bothered about shaving every day now and we're <laughs> i'm just so shocked i was so shocked after my patch test but even my sister my mom was just like they want to get it so literally this is my leg after a week where's the hair I do not see, I shaved for my birthday which was last Monday, it's now Sunday. This is after a whole week and there's no, it's like stubby, but there's no hairs, there's like no long hairs, guys, I'm, seriously, it's so good. After a week, normally if I didn't have laser, I would be the Amazonian forest on my legs. Will I do more? Yes, like literally, I'm not even kidding guys, I want to do my whole body, so What's good with Premier Laser Clinic, which I think is a huge thumbs up for me, what well, I think it is, is that you can break your payments in, in, into bits. So they do, for example, if you want to get eight sessions, I think it's 12. For 12 months, you pay a fixed amount and you do have to pay 20% deposit and there's no interest. And I just think that's so good. But I do want to do my whole body. I think it's so good, stress-free. And I, the worst thing I hate is shaving. I hate shaving. Would I recommend Premier Laser Clinic? Yes, because, and by the way, this video is not sponsored. And even if it was, you guys know I'll always give my honest opinion. Um, and you can tell like just by looking at my leg that it's just working so well. I would definitely recommend Premier Laser Clinic because I feel like their laser is such good quality because right after the first session, my hair 
growth reduced so much and the girls there are so lovely and they were kind they were just very kind i think their prices are right as well and i just love the fact that you have that option to split up the payment so you don't have to pay lump sum all in one go i think that's all i have to say about laser hair removal like my experience has been so good and i'm so happy that i've got it and i'm going to continue to get it all over and I know my sister will definitely get it she wants her face done it's just so convenient guys um if and also like you guys know i always do waxing videos and i if i don't shave or, or do laser i'll obviously wax and i've been waxing my arms a lot which i'll have a video soon but if your skin doesn't react to shaving or waxing or hair removal cream methods then just get laser i know it's a bit pricey but you it's like a good investment if you if you don't want a hassle to like shave all the time and just worry about hair growth just get laser anyways i think that's all i have to say if you have any questions um make sure to write them in the info in the comments below i'll try my best to answer them um make sure to check out premier laser clinic's website in the info box they do have prices on there as well and i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye